Ladies and gentlemen, good to see you tonight. We have blue skies. It is November 12th, 2020. Got a little perspective of history here. The uh, president-elect is Joe Biden, and the president-eject is Mr. Donald Trump. Been wanting to use that joke for a while. Um, and this is Thursday Night Life music. And we have a special guest tonight, as we often do. Uh, got my Zoom set up over there. Uh, we have Leslie Bugelman on tonight, and she's going to join us right now. Hey! <laughs> It is great to see you. It's great to see you, too. I feel like I've seen you more <laughs> today and yesterday than I ever have in my whole life. That is true. That's true. And <laughs> I, was, I was remembering uh, the last, I think, gig that we were both on, which would okay. have been, you know, and I think it was it was Origin of Animal. So it was a, um, it was a, oh, I want to say David, Ke uh, David, oh my goodness, it's out of my head now. Keller. Yeah. Yes, it was Origin of Animal. All right. Fulton Street Collective, and it was a big old, like, huge band, and there was, was a lot just going the hang. on. Yeah. Yeah, it was really cool. It was a really fun time. And it's, that was you know, there's always so much going on. So, I, yeah, I, I take your word for it. <laughs> <laughs> you've drawn, though, you've been, you've painted at events that I've played at, though, right? Yeah, yeah, and I think there's been other tethers in there too like we've been yeah place. yes um isn't it funny that you sort of like we've been taking sort of you take that for granted so much like oh yeah i'll go see leslie and you know, i'll see her here and i'll i'll go check out her gig and if i miss this one i'll get to the next one there's I mean, no next one well there is now because you are hosting thursday night live this is so cool that's right that's right i'm so uh, this is thanks for having me by the way oh i forgot well, to start recording well we're recording here Okay, that's good. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, this is <laughs> Thursday Night Life Music, and we are into our, I don't know, seventh or eighth month uh, of this. Uh, since the pandemic hit, uh, we are in the Chicago land area. Um, so it is just after 8 o'clock. Yes. And this is November 12th, 2020. Yes. Historically, 2020. Historically, there's going to be apparently a a uh, advisory lockdown happening on Monday. Mm -hmm. So we all know what this is about, you know, and, uh, you know, you wear your mask, do your job, all that kind of stuff. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. You're, you're having a hungry man dinner by yourself in your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's all right. The cleanup will be, the cleanup won't be as big of a deal, you know. <laughs> That's right. But, you know, the leftovers won't be there. It'll be, it's going to be a different time, you know, but. It is going to be different. That's for, that's for sure. I say, I say lockdown with those that you love. Lockdown with those you love. I'm into that. That's what I'm doing. You know, me too. You know, me what do you, what do you, what else are you going to do right now? Sorry. I just realized this thing is like scrolling. I needed to change it anyway. That's okay. That's okay. So Stuff you don't need to know about because you can't see it. But this is what this is what, li this is what the live thing is all about. You I know? know it's so fun. Is it sounding through? okay so far? Do you hear me? We're yes, good. Yes, I can see you. Okay. Yes, yes. Awesome. I mean, the screen's doing a little bit of a thing, but that's okay. Well, that I made a mar I made a martini for us. Nice. Thank you. Mhm. Mm I have a bottle of water. Oh well, cheers. I have water too, but the martini, you mm. know. Mm. Cheers. Oh my! All right. So, so what do we what do we do? Let's talk. I, I really want. I'm sort of want to get into, ladies and gentlemen. She has a recording uh, called "Golden Daffodil" that I've been listening to from last year and reintroduced myself to it because there it is, right there. We're talking Wool Gathering Records. Yes. And I've got a few favorite tracks on there. Um, and we have some, ooh, that was, I didn't see, I, said, I, don't, I don't actually have a physical CD. Oh, well, send me your address. You deserve to one. get one of those. Yeah, yeah I'll get you one. I, I know, I know somebody, you know, you know I know somebody. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, tell me how it was like to record this. It was a ball to record this album. Um, mm -hmm. I had an extremely good time at the session. 
basically, um, I had I had an album out, I believe, in two thousand eight. I did a, an album called Here I Am, which was a, yep. a combination of two different recording sessions. And um, mm-hmm. it was time for, I mean, I've been on, you know, other recordings and the Oh Yeah is one of my, one of the bands I'm in oh, yeah, uh, yeah. regularly. We, we have uh, a record out as well. And it was kind of like, I'm ready to do something that's just mine, you know? And so this came the right time. Uh, I picked the heavy hitters, my three of my favorite humans on the planet, John Dydemeyer and Matt Eulery and Rob Clearfield, because why not? And um, yes. and I've known them, uh, Rob and I went to school together, Matt and I went to school together. So I've known Matt and Rob for a very long time and then also sing in uh, Tall Tales, which is um, John Dydemeyer's band and sing his mm-hmm. music. So we're, we all play together, we've been playing together. I remember, you know, uh, the Roosevelt University days with the other two. So it was just effortless. Um, it was fun. Rob was in town, booked the session, and we I went in with a handful of tunes that I really knew I, knew I wanted to get done. And then we ended up getting everything finished, even the songs that I was kind of like, oh, well, if we don't get to them, it's okay. And we got to everything. And it was just fun. We just had a good time, which a lot of recording sessions are fun, but it didn't feel like... I don't know. I didn't feel as stressed out or worried or like, oh, I don't know if this is, you know, is this song okay? It's like, no, this is great. I probably because I only wrote three songs on the album, so I wasn't super freaked out about. It's like, well, these songs have already been out here for a long time, but um, that's, yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, so it's a little bit of a different experience, and I think with the jazz album too, you know, we have a lot of stuff that we had rehearsed and uh, worked on, but it was also the idea of let's lay down three of these and we'll pick one, you know, and, and it was, uh, the spontaneity is, is a very important part of, you know, of a jazz album and jazz music. So it, it was really fun to hear, you know, this take what, okay, but, oh, but this one, you know, and just kind of when the magic happened. So it was, it was a great experience. And I talked to Matt about being on the, on his record label and he, he was very cool about it and said, absolutely. It's, you know, stretched cause I haven't had vocalists and, but he's like, let's go for it. And yeah. I could, I, I thank him, you know, it was just such a cool experience to work with him. Not only on, Oh my gosh, Matt was not on the album. What am I talking about? It was Patrick Mulcahy. Was yeah, on I was, was going to mention that, but, but it's, it's Matt's label. Right? I was we'll thinking get, we'll about Matt. Right? Yes. Yeah. So Patrick and Patrick and I went to school together. So, Oh gosh, where am I? Um, so, but yeah, so having Matt involved in that aspect was very cool because, uh, he's just such a a great friend and just an incredible musician. And, you know, it's an honor to be affiliated with him and even knowing him. And yeah, Patrick and I go back a long way too. He lives in Australia now. So it's like, I I love you, Patrick. I'm so sorry. You played, we played here's that rainy day together. Like it was so much fun. I love him, adore him, dear friend. So sorry about that. It's been a long time. (laughs) It, it's been a weird year. I think we can. There's that was, of, yeah. How 2020 of me, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag 2020. That's oh what, gosh. That's to do. Yeah. So, well, so for instance, so for instance, one of my favorite songs on this is Days of Gray. Yes. And you're saying that you did multiple takes. Mm-hmm. So is it one of those things where the first take is the one, and you just did some more, or like which take is on the record? I'm asking. You know, I wish I could remember exactly which one. It's, I don't think it was the first one. We, we did three takes and I think we came back the next day and tried it again. And we ended up using one of the ones from the previous day. I wish I could tell you. We tried it, the, it just kind of a little more like subdued. And then we tried another one that was like, let's really hit it hard at this part. And it just didn't feel right. And yeah, I think it was like this, I think it was probably the second take or maybe even the third one after we tried. I'm, I wish I could tell you. But it wasn't the last one, and I don't think it was the first one. So I'll have to ask Steve Shirk, who was the engineer of okay. the session. <laughs> well, so, you know, sometimes with records, uh, you know, the reissue, if we're, yeah. you know, thinking about this in 20 years, will be like, okay, you'll put those extra tracks on there so you could hear. Nah. Uh, <laughs> no? 
<laughs> as a fan, this is me as a fan. Yes, I love it. Hey, I'm into it. You I know. mean, you know, that's uh, I, I really appreciate you checking out the record and knowing the band better than I do, apparently. Well, it's good that they're listed, you know, and I'm a big, I, know. I mean, Rob, I'm just a big fan of Rob for years. Mm -hmm. It's just like that guy just plays. You know, just amazing. He's just an amazing player, yeah. and so I'm I'm into him. And uh, um, you know, of course, Beth Bethany is a, a wonderful, amazing. Oh my gosh, she's uh, so awesome. Composer, musician, um, and we've had good times uh, hanging out together too. So it's you know, part yeah. of it is you know, it's a great record, but also like oh, these are my these are my these are my people. You know what I mean? These are my yeah. friends on the record. So that's yeah. part of the thing that's really exciting. Um, I, I feel the same way. They're my friends on the record too. And I think that was partially what made it so, so fun was I love these people. And then knowing that it was going to be affiliated with Matt and just knowing that I was in, it was just like a little, a little cradle of love, <laughs> you know, a musical cradle of love. Yeah, so yeah. I hear you. Yeah. It's, there's nothing better than where it's, it's, there's an experience working with people you don't really know. And there's there are mul different experiences of working with people you know as well. You can have a really positive or like, oh, we're getting on each other's nerves because we're more like siblings or we're more, you know. That was yeah. This was this was just like, hey, we're homies. Let's just have a good time and play. And yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. it works. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, Golden Daffodil on Wool Gathering yes. Records. I'll show it again. I'll show it again just Please for fun because it's so pretty. This the funny thing about the cover is that I went to get um, I went to get food, you know, you got to bring like munchies to the session. Mm -hmm. And I stepped out of the car and this was outside of my outside of my door when I uh, stepped out of the car. So this this beautiful daffodil was just open this head of a daffodil just on the on parking spot. And this is the actual line of the parking spot. <laughs> and I just took the picture and I was like, yeah. boom. This is, it was, it started off, the day started off perfectly. So, I found, I found object art. I yeah. love that stuff. You know, eh, you know. anyway. So, uh, I, th it's, it feels like you're ready, you know. I'm ready. I've been like working on this, sitting here, you know, <laughs> waiting. Me too. Me too. I've been trying, like, okay, not, like, trying not to drink this entire martini to calm my nerves. <laughs> Well, there's like a marker in there. So like halfway through, you know, then when it gets to like 8.30, you be like, okay, now it's time, you know. <laughs> when it gets to 8, oh, 8, what are we at? 8, yeah, 8, whatever. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I'll play some songs for you. I would love that. I would love that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Thursday Night Life Music. My name is Louis Achenbach. Who cares? On the show tonight, we have Leslie Buchelman, and here she is. So speaking of Golden Daffodil, here's the first track. Let's see here. Grab the wheel, my fair friend. too tired Take me somewhere I can rest my weary head and close my eyes I just want to dream
another lifetime I would call you mine Gaze into your kind eyes All through the night All the troubles we hold Would be left behind But dear Alice They are turning up The light Take my hand, my fair friend, it's been a long night, and I'm too tired. Take me somewhere, I can rest my weary head and close my eyes. I just want to dream. I just want to dream a while. Thank you. Oh. All right, so that's track two. That kind of sets the vibe. I'm just going to keep it, keep it kind of chill. I know it's like at 5.30 every day. I'm like, is it 10.30 p.m.? It's so dark. But... Uh, <laughs> totally weird. Yeah, it's wonderful. I don't mind it. Hi, Nat. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing people join. Thanks for hanging out, guys. All right, so let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play another song for you. This is a new one. Um, this is a, I think this is only the second time I'm playing this for humans. So, like, other than myself. <laughs> So this is a song I call One Thing, but it's also uh, kind of like a child's lament. <laughs> it's a, uh, whatever. Can, you know, here we go. Whoops. Let's try that one more time. take the time to breathe and then decide the words to say I know I'm young and I'm not exactly qualified To tell you how to live your life But one thing I can tell you Is you taught me to be kind And one thing that I've noticed Is that kindness doesn't seem to be on your mind If you're feeling ire, come sit around the fire. Let's talk it out. I know times are tough and change is all. But I'll still choose to love you every day And if I'm sound and preachy It's cause you taught me to be strong And with strength comes courage For me to ask you Can you please just get along
<laughs> Thank you. How's it sounded so far? Are we doing okay? Yeah, it sounds like, actually kind of sounds like we're in a room, which is good. Awesome. A little bit of like, like space. That. It's a space here. Yeah. Good. Is there, is there a little bit of a history to that song that you want to share or? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, with, um, with all the changes, um, my lease was up in, I don't know, the end of the, thanks, Nat. Um, my lease was up at the end of, I don't know, May, June, something like that. And um, I ended up moving out of my apartment in May, the end of May, and uh, moved home to my parents' house in Sandwich, Illinois. Um, Mom. Hey, Mom, how you doing? <laughs> she's not going to break a glass. Don't worry. Um, but this is awesome. They have, they, I'm so lucky. They have, um, they have just let me have this basement space to build my spot to work on music and, um, you know, continue doing what I need to do. And luckily Sandwich is only about an hour and change away from the city. So I'm still able to go back and forth to any outdoor situations or, you know, live streams that have been happening. So I'm not completely cut off. And again, it's so, I feel yeah. extremely fortunate for this, op you know, that I had this place to go and mm -hmm. able to, you know, save some money and just kind of be home. And it's an interesting opportunity to be home with my folks at this age and this time after living alone or, you know, being on my own for 20 years. <laughs> um, right. It's not something you anticipate ever really being able to do, have the opportunity to do. And uh, with that comes those sometimes where you start to bump heads a little bit. <laughs> so that song is, I call that child's lament of, you know. So you're the child. Just, I'm the child. And I'm okay. like, can we just, can we just take a moment and, you know, can we just think about what we're saying? Because um, you didn't teach me to be this way, you know, stuff like which we've not, we don't get into super crazy fights or anything, but it's been an adjustment for, for all of us, for the three of us. Um, but it's been so cool, even in the, even when I'm like, ah, you know, um, those, those moments are becoming less and less with the way that we, you know, I mean, I've li I lived with them for 18 years, so it's not that right. big a deal. <laughs> Right. But yeah, I, I told them about that. I was like, I wrote this song for you guys. <laughs> I was like, it's it's helpful. It's you know, whatever. It's not it's not nasty, but it's funny. So. That's great. My sister my sister's on here, she can relate to things like that. Being a oh, being yeah. a daughter and uh oh and sandwich is nice. Sandwich has a nice uh, opera house. It does. I, the yeah. oh yeah, as we're supposed to play there in April, but are mm -hmm. you know we got we got canceled of course so yeah i saw that i, I was there for uh, with a gig for um tom sharp was playing okay on uh i was on stage on the side stage that's awesome and i saw like all oh, the oes are coming here i was like yeah let's network into that and then of course you know <laughs> yeah well i grew up on that stage so i did a lot of community theater and the summer theater workshops and all that and oh cool um yeah, it's a very beautiful building, and I I love I love the Opera House. It's so cool. It is nice. It is yeah. Nice. Um. Thank you. Well, I can play another song about my about sandwich, but it's uh it's it's not like a, it's more about the outside and just the idea of living in Chicago and living in the city, kind of coming back and forth. And mm -hmm. what do they say? You can't take the country out of the or wait. Yeah, I don't, you can't take the country out of the city girl, or what is it? Yeah, you can take the girl out of the country, but you can't take you the can't country take the, out of the girl. Yeah. And this, you know, put city in there if you want, you know. know. Um, or if you take a girl out of the city, make sure you take her back or something. I, like don't, know. I don't know. I love the city. I mean, my, my, my mom grew up on the south side of Chicago. My dad grew up in, on a farm in Minnesota. So it's, it's. I, you know, we, and then we are all here. We all end up here. So I'm, I'm That's not right. complaining. <laughs> yes. Me but, uh, yeah, this song is called silo song. I played this one. Mm. Uh, this is one of the first, not one of the first tunes I wrote on guitar, but one of the tunes I was like, oh yeah, I like this one just because, uh, I think the images that I get are very specific because I wrote the song, but, uh, it's just kind of, uh, about growing up and, you know, moving to the city. So I'm gonna play it for you. <laughs> I'm with you. 
I'm out of practice with my banter, Lou. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know, sometimes I am too, you know, it's just sort of like, you know, there's, there's more pauses in, in live music, you know, you're sort of yeah. like, okay, we're taking breaks. <laughs> I'm going to go over here by, be by myself for 10 minutes, and I'll come back and perform for you. Yeah. You know, uh, but this, uh, is, this is live TV show business, you know. We're, great. I've got, got to get used to it. Okay, here we go. Silo song. The sun reflects on the silo And the earth looks like it's on fire A day's work presents its golden arm The setting sun on Mick's old farm There are times I wish I could go back To the days of the summer haze Full of old pipe dreams and silly schemes Thinking of the woman I'll become as I sit alone and hear the raindrops on this city, I'm thinking, where is it I'm going? And have I done a good job? I could go back to the days of the summer haze Full of old pipe dreams and silly schemes Thinking of the woman I'll become And as I sit alone and hear the raindrops on this city I'm thinking, where is it I'm going? And have I done a good job? Jam, thank you. That is some quality storytelling there, my friend. Thank you. And I mean that very sincerely. Um, just recently, I went to uh, was with my my wife, and we went to a park she used to go to in Pennsylvania. And uh, it reminded it took me there. And this was just a few days ago. Just the notion of I don't know memories and yeah. spaces that you've been. Um your aspirations when you were there, mm -hmm. you know, possibly as a younger person, um, where you are nowadays, and vi visiting the same spaces, but with different experience. You know, we're talking yeah. about experience and innocence and all that beautiful stuff. That was wonderful. Thank you. Thank well, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, I'm going to play another one here, obviously. I'm just going to yes, keep playing. Please. I'm I'm so excited to play. Now that I'm, I feel like I'm getting in the groove a little bit. I get so nervous. I still. I don't know. I do, too. I do too. And I can see in some people here. Thank you. Thank. Uh, is this your sister? She uh, said, no, no one called her. You're never Lou. 
<laughs> I don't know why I called you Lou. No, Lou. That's I kind of just I don't know. Lou is the, Lou is we know it. You know me as Lou. I come. I kind of do the uh, the Bobby De Niro, Robert De Niro thing. It's like if you know me, it's it's Lou. You know what I mean? It's oh, well, that's I'm good. Well, I'm blushing. Um, <laughs> yes, that's my that's Leo on there. Yes, that's awesome. I saw that when I started playing. I was like, oh gosh, is that a bad thing? Oh, whatever. Anyway, I love yeah. all of you. This is so cool. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm so excited to see what you create. So this is another song um, that was inspired by places I've been. This is a, a song that I wrote on the way home from Greece, because, you know, that's the way I do. Um, this was a, an experience um, going to the island of Hydra, which is off of Athens, uh, outside of, you know, off of the coast of Athens. And... Um, the Aegean Sea was just lovely, and I had a moment. I was by myself, and um, first time traveling abroad alone, and um, it was a beautiful day there. So this one I call Lenny. And moment. <clears throat> Smell the rich green grass all around and up and down. Hear the sea waves crashing on the rocky shore As I look outward and see the fishing boats pass by well, This world is full of wonder, I could cry Lenny and his muse sat here some time before Hearing birds and roosters calling in the dawn Children's playful voices dance around the countryside Well, this world is full of wonder, I could cry And I hope to take this home with me All the sights and smells, my reverie Snap a picture in my head I'll recall it when the tide is dark again Ooh, I'll recall it when the tide is dark again Cold and clear, the water washes o'er my toes. The still blue sea creates a stillness in my soul. This peace I welcome with my arms open wide. But this world is full of wonder, I could cry. This world is full of wonder, I could cry. This world is full of wonder. Open your eyes That one's called Lenny in honor of Leonard Cohen who used to go there all the time to find inspiration and I understand why because it is just no cars, all donkeys and wagons, and it's a mesmerizing place. And uh, it was very cool to have that opportunity to go there. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Me too. Oh, I, I very much miss, very much miss traveling. Um, yeah, big time. I'm. We all do, and miss people, and you know. But again. Uh, make the best, make the best of it, right? Um, so I'm going to play a song now for you that is by one of my favorite singers and just beautiful songs. And I just think this song is appropriate for now, just kind of like I am always have to remind myself to calm down and just, um, you know, don't forget to rest. So, uh, and you're not alone. You're never alone. By the way, if anybody needs to talk, I'm here. <laughs> so, um, you know, that's, you know, bug me, bug me. <laughs> so this is a song called Rest. Close your 
to start this over because I got so consumed with inside of speaking of rest, I got so consumed inside my head. So let's try this one more time. Live music, everybody. <laughs> Here we go. Close your eyes. Let them rest. I ain't in no hurry. It all. Rest your head upon my shoulder. I swear I'll carry, carry you on. I won't let you go. Go on hungry. I won't let you cry. Without a hand to dry, rest your soul, live in peace. I won't let you worry, worry at Clamped over here. I love it. I, that song. I love that one. Um, I forgot to mention who wrote it. It's a man named Michael Kiwanuka who wrote that, and it's on his album Home Again. And I just, I just love it. So I want to play another cover song by another amazing songwriter. This woman is young and amazing, and she has been all over the place uh, lately and for the past few years. I don't even know when she started getting out. She's a ripping guitar player. So I'm going to play like a very simple version <laughs> of um, one of her songs called I Close My Eyes. And this is a song by Madison Cunningham. She's, yeah, just, she's amazing. In my opinion. Sorry, got to move over here. That chair keeps rolling. I know her and she knows me. We're not as young as we used to be. Chasing down the careless age till wisdom came running on fast. Legs. I close my eyes. 
dreams and dream of her many years ago i close my eyes and dream of her many girls ago of my enemy once the future's greatest fears now my reflection inside the mirror i close my eyes and dream of her many years ago i close my eyes and dream all she didn't know I close my eyes and dream of her many girls ago I close my eyes and dream of her dancing in patches of sunlight time was an hourless friend Oh, how I wish to be that girl again, only wiser tomorrow. I close my eyes. I, I just aging. Am I right? Aging. You know. I'm digging it. Yeah. I just I thought that tune when I there's so many great songs. She just came out with a new album. I don't know. Time is whatever at this point, but she came out with a an album a little bit ago. And I mean, they're just she's such a slam and songwriter, and just her poetry, beauty and cliches is this one song that my boyfriend jim loves to play and it's again just like like what you're so good you're so good and she's a badass guitar player so you know right but uh yeah so let's see what's next what do you i mean, i see myself in the i see myself in the upper frame it's freaking me out <laughs> <laughs> well you knew this was going to happen right yes you know i mean there's a chance it was just going to be abstract uh, this happened with, Beth, with Bethany Pickens too. She's like, "Oh, I didn't know you were gonna do a portrait." I was like, "Yeah, that's." Well, know. cheers, to, cheers to me. <laughs> cheers. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hmm. Cheers to your. All portrait. right. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. I've got. I have picked so many songs. I. I. I guess I'll just keep playing them. Yes, if you uh, keep going let's as long see. as you'd like to go, we can just you know. Okay. That's you know, awesome. I mean, normally Instagram will, you know, it used to kick me off in an hour. Okay. Sort of like, okay, we've had enough, buddy. Yeah, you know, you're done, done, bro. And then <laughs> I don't know whether I kept doing this, and they're like, we'll give them an extra five minutes. For some okay, cool. For some reason now, I like, it doesn't just cut me off. Because it used to be like, you know, mid-song, and I'd be like, you know, just like cracked open. <laughs> Ooh, somebody's giving all the love. Is that Golden Bisky giving all the love? That's, oh, a lot of, that's a lot. I know. Tomorrow Music Orchestra. He's a, a great composer, man, human. Mm. So good friend was in his uh, his band called Tomorrow Music Orchestra, singing some oh, 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 awesome lines. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a lot of love. It's wow. a lot of love. I mean, he's he's Matthew's Matthew's amazing. Okay, let's see. What should I do here? 
maybe I'll do this one. Uh, so I mentioned the band The Oh Yes, and we are going to make uh, an album at some point, a new album. But uh, this is probably going to be on it. This is one of my new tunes that they sing on and play on, and they're just lovely angels, and I love them. And yes. this is called You Make It All Right. Okay. I'm good? Okay. <clears throat> I was writing so many sad love songs, and then I decided, well, I should write something positive. <laughs> but that's also because life is life changes and does things. All right, I'm rambling. I'm stalling. <laughs> These days, when I'm not getting life straight. Whoops, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just having a day, I'm having a day. I practiced all these tunes. Oh, my dad's walking by. Let's try that one more time. Oh, I'm having a day, guys. These days, when I'm not getting life straight Your hand upon my shoulder gets me right These days When it can feel so cold Your love for me warms me from the inside And that's what you do That's what you do That's what you do to me. You make it all right. While keeping my head held high. I get exhausted by the daily grind We're moving At a rapid pace But one look from you And I can't help but smile And that's what you do That's what you do what you do me you make it all right hey hey hey, hey. hey. for another Oh Yes record. Me too. And, uh, and please mention the other two extraordinary women that are in yes. that. Yes. Sarah Marie Young and Allison Arobia. Mm -hmm. They are, we, we have been definitely keep in touch a lot through this, through this time. And it's very exciting to, you know, 
be talking about the future with them. We just hope at some point we can make this album because we have a we have it all ready to go. It's just we're we're just ready. Got to wait until we can you know do it. So that brings up how is the collaboration process now because of the mm. pandemic? You know, like you can talk about it, but you can't do it. That kind of thing. Or well, we um, we are. We've been doing, we did some corn tunes, you know, where we recorded songs and, and, uh, and did them remotely and stacked up upon each other. <laughs> and that was a great way to kind of workshop some of our new material and also just kind of be able to sing with each other. Um, yeah, I mean, we could potentially go into the studio and do it. I think it's, you know, that's a lot of time to be together and, and we typically would want to be performing a little bit before we actually go in and, and record yes. it so that the music would feel really comfortable. We've done, we did that before where we tried to record and we weren't ready and it was just kind of like, yeah, this is, you know, um, we need to do this another time. And uh, so that's kind of, I think what we're waiting for. And we're still coming up with material. Like I have a new song. I want to, play for you at some point tonight hopefully before instagram kicks us off because i've talked so much um but it's uh we have new stuff coming out and so it's not such a bad thing that we're waiting for a while but that was something we were gonna we were gonna be uh doing this year you know that was on the on the to-do list but right right we'll get to it it's coming don't worry that's good and we appreciate as as music lovers we appreciate process yeah, this is, it's an interesting, this is a different process because before it's just you play shows and then let's go record. And so this is, this is cool because we can, we're definitely sitting with this music a little bit longer. Right. And again, if you were doing that, I might not have the chance to be sitting with you right now. Exactly. Well, maybe I'll play that new song for you right now. Okay. How about that? I'll do that one. Let's see if I can remember it since I'm having brain freezes. Let's see. Um. Headed in the wrong direction, aimless living day to day. Not paying close attention Actions driving folks away And oh, isn't it strange To be back in this place with you Trying to make an honest living Meeting friends along the way Somewhere I lost my inner vision Silenced what I came to say Oh, and living with our choices I guess that's part of growing older Your happiness is yours to make And oh, isn't it strange To find out I'm the same as you Myself back here where I started long ago with the same exterior but on the inside I have grown and now I'll find myself back here Thank you.
sigh over here I'm I'm, uh... I'm sighing too I'm like <laughs> after every song <laughs> that's a new one that's this... um that's a brand spanking new one I think I finished it I finished it officially a few days ago like finally decided the form was got it but yeah you know and it'll thank you hi Olivia I see Nikki hi Nikki <laughs> so um it's it's that's always a good feeling it's like oh yes I wrote a song so yeah right is it is it in any way like uh well I, I can only speak for myself but uh i'm a i'm not a woman so all i can make is art right i can't do things that other people can do okay. um but you know there's a bit of a dare i say birthing process <laughs> and adop adoption process when i yes you know go somewhere else because you're invested mm -hmm. in them, you know, you're invested emotionally yeah. in what you're doing, of course. Definitely. You know, and, um, you know, that brings me to just thank you so much for giving of yourself tonight. You know? Thank like, you. I, thanks. And you too. I mean, I, I appreciate that. I, I, you know, yeah. It's every performance is different. I feel, you know, I'm like, can we do take two? I want to do round two. <laughs> now I feel, you know, it's like every two and I get a little more. I think because it's the first time doing an Instagram live, I'm not used to seeing all the all the activity. <laughs> yeah, there, there is. Look at all the love that's happening over here. I know. Thanks, guys. Cool. I mean, it's, it's, it's cool, just, though. This, this is the response. You know, one of the things I like about doing this is you get, you get the live yeah. feedback. You know, it feels like we're together. You know, we're in a virtual space, you know? Yes. We're bouncing off the satellites, which makes it even better. Um, yeah. And it's out there, and it's, you know, now it'll be archived, so people can watch this later on. Oh, um, great. And, and, you know, <laughs> it's like, and then we can watch it later on and be like, oh, man. Well, I'm excited to see the pro that you're, you know, I'll watch it later and not look at me and, and, and look at that, because that's awesome. Well, it's, it's storytelling. I've been building, you know, so there's some... It kind of gets buried, but there's like silo forms in the background. There. Oh, and perfect. There was some, Is there a, a martini bottom. in there? Uh, well, there's, there's still some time left. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't admit that. That's no, really. Wait a minute. I think, I think we're over here. There's actually a, Oh, yeah, there's a little know? guy. It's funny how that sort of happens. You know, it's like I'm, I'm grabbing shapes it. and forms. And uh, I mean, it's all about what, you, what you're given to me, you know? Um, Thank you. This is so awesome. I, I, I should be, you know, it's, this is great. Thank you for this opportunity to share music. Well, thank you tonight. so much. Thank you so much. Just to, so everybody knows this is Thursday Night Life music. Um, this is probably the second to the last one I will do this year. Oh, um, yeah. Just because, you know, sort of take some time off here in, the, in December and be with the lockdown family I'm with. And um, I'm actually going to do some Jazz Occurrence, a uh, Jazz Occurrence holiday special, which is going to be but that's that's going to be in in December and uh, probably a little bit release uh, during the Hanukkah time too. Um, Excellent. You know, just to give give the people what they what they want. I think you know. there is demand. People need no, and people need this. This is, uh, you know, we as musicians need this too. This is very very cool. It's thank you for hosting a series and for asking me and and you know. We all need this. It's nice to be together too. It's it's but, always funny to communicate with people now because I'm just like, how? Oh. I just feel like such a weirdo. <laughs> you know, hi, my name's Leslie. Um, what? It's like I, I can't I can't hug you, but um, <laughs> I don't please, understand. <laughs> please stay six feet away, but I, I yeah. love you, but not that much. Yeah, there's all but, that sort of silliness. It's very very bizarre, but yeah, man. Hey, we're uh, we're sort of like technically we're at that hour, but you know I what? mean Instagram doesn't kick me off. So if you'd like to do one last tune, I'd love to do a last tune. I'm not sure which one to do. Maybe I'll just do I'll do the closer from Golden Daffodil. Oh, how about that? W wasting time is that's one of my that's one of your jams, man. Thank you. All right, so here's wasting time, which is a good one to close on. I'm 
just sitting here wasting time I don't quite know what I'm waiting for The clock keeps ticking, I feel like I'm racing time But I got nowhere to go The sun has set and I'm done for the day Pinks and blues have all gone away So here I am faded just like the setting sun <laughs> There it is Another night on my own And I could sit here all day And let my mind run around and play Watch the day turn into night And know that tomorrow's gonna be alright So I'm just sitting here Wasting time I'm feeling those moments roll on by I got no one on the line But I don't care just getting used to not having you here Nothing here, it's just me and the night air Oh, I'm missing you, why aren't you here? Oh, I'm just sitting here Wasting time I'm trying to get you off my mind Thank you so much for having me. It's been a fantastic evening. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Thursday Night Life Music at its best. You're one of the greats. I'm telling you. This is Thank you. so good. I look forward to uh, giving you a hug when we're allowed. Um, yes. I'm not sure if that's going to be this year, next year. Who knows? It doesn't matter. We'll but, find uh, out. Um, ladies and gentlemen, this is a virtual squeeze from from one of the great creatives here that's working. Thank you so much. Thank you. Miss Buchelman, I, uh, I can't say enough. Um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please watch this again. And again, please, I mean, I'm just <laughs> recommending because it's the truth. Golden Daffodil, Wool Gathering Records. Thank you. Yes. And I look forward to the Oh Yes future. Yes. And what did I say? Say hi to your mom. <laughs> and my dad, who's probably dad? wandering around. And um, my, my roommates, my roommates are crazy. I tell you what, <laughs> they're like, wild and crazy. I, I call my wife and my kids my roommates, too. <laughs> it's like, oh, they're so like this and like, oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> 
Oh, well, thank you so much for this opportunity. And um, I'd love to do it again sometime, you know? Yes. Super fun. So yes. when you have the time, let's, let's, uh, let's schedule something else. We can do a YouTube I'm live. Around. Thing, you know? Yeah. I, I love it. So, and uh, I, I can't wait to see the final picture. And thank you to everybody who tuned in. Rex and Christian. Hey. Yeah, oh, and me. Up. There's me. It's me. <laughs> I think it's pretty close. Yeah, I it think it's, it's, it's there. It's there. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much. You just be well and happy Thanksgiving to you and to your family and to all of you out there too. And um, yeah, we'll see you, see you again soon. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you next week for Marcus Evans. And, oh, um, yeah. Yeah, and I think his son is going to be on too, like Dude. painting. So we're 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 capping it off with with some good stuff, That's ladies and gentlemen. Great. This has been Thursday Night Life Music. This is Leslie Buchelman. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye.